everyone, my name is Varda and I'm from Crest Secondary School. Today, I'll be telling you about why reading is important. You know, each time when I take the public transport, do you know what I see? Of course, people, but people hooked onto their smartphones. Let it be for social media, g Google, or games. But one out of maybe ten might be reading an on online newspaper report or, <coughs> or an e-book online. Therefore, I'm here to tell you why reading is important. Firstly, it's a form of a stress reliever. When you, know, when you pick up a book, you tend to get lost in between the lines. You find yourself in this awesome imaginary world that actually helps you to forget all your problems and worries. So, one, if you're feeling stressed up, pick up a good book and read. Secondly, it improves your, <coughs> <coughs> it improves your memory. So, you have, when you pick up a book, you have to remember at least the characters' names, their part in the action, and if it's a series, what, happen, what happens in the previous book. From what I found, Studies have actually shown that if you don't use your memory, you can actually lose it. So, why are you risk it? <laughs> Am I right? <coughs> Thirdly, it widens your vocabulary. Of course, it improves your spelling, but it actually g gives you a wide range of more, voc more words to use from. You know, you can actually impress your other other friends and family members with the words that you found in the book or online. Fourthly, it actually <coughs> it actually enhances your creativity. You'll be exposed to new information and new ways of viewing from viewing from other people's perspective. This actually helps you to to succeed in the near future. Lastly, it will <coughs> it will improve your concentration. You won't get distracted. You, when you pick up a book, you won't actually won't get distracted from the things around you. Unless if you bump into a pole, <laughs> then that's a different story. But you you won't get in, interested in other things un, unless it's, it's, your, it's your book in your hand. So can we just imagine that you're reading your book and your teacher, or even worse, your boss, comes up to you and asks you a few questions, but you simply ignore them, and who knows what hap Who knows what will happen next? <laughs> I, for one, would not like to find out. Anyway, here are a few tips for you guys to get a head start on reading. Try read reading at least a little bit each day. It could be simple as reading a page of a book, or maybe just the, a short newspaper article. And if you're one of those people who really, 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 and I mean really, hate reading, you should at least read the words around you, the subtitle on the t television, or the headlines of the newspaper. That would actually give you a nice head start on it. <coughs> so. I hope these tips that I have shared with you today will make a difference in your, in your life in the near future. I wish the near future would come right now, <laughs> but that's just me. Alright, I'm signing off. Ciao!